Limburgers are very proud and passionate about their local brewery. It's beer o'clock and carrying on with this autumn theme of Dutch Bock beers, we have got a bottle of brand double Bock coming in at 7.5% ABV. Now, this is obviously a Dutch Bock beer from the Brand Brewery in Limburg in, uh, in the Netherlands. Um, they're very passionate about the brewery, the Limburgers, believe it or not. And it's a bit different to a normal Bock because this is a, this is a, this is a du double Bock or double Bock. Um, it basically means they use double the ingredients, so it's going to have a higher ABV, whereas a lot of the Bock beers are sort of 6%, um, this one's 7.5%. So let's get it into a glass and see what it's like. Um, this is a very, very popular style of beer, the Bock beer, in the Netherlands at this time of year. I have heard this happen to these beers. It, it does pour quite flat, this beer. Um, very, very little... Car well, you know, there's carbonation in there, but there's very, very little carbonation. It's a, <coughs> a brown, ruby sort of red colour. I don't know if you can see that readiness there. You've got like a half-finger sort of off-white head. Let's get the aromas. Oh, sweet, it's malty. It smells like sweet malt bread. You know, um... There's a slight smokiness to it as well. I'm picking up some sort of toffee apple. Toffee apple, raisins, that sort of thing. Dark fruits. Yeah, it really does smell nice. Um, it actually smells similar to like a um, Hertog Yang Grand Prestige, to be honest. but a more sort of sharper. Yeah, smells fantastic. I know they used the Hella Tail hops in this. Let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Oh. It's dried fruit. It's jammy. It's terrible there. Ah, oh. <coughs> it's a little bit of bitterness at the back end, but nothing to really shout home about. Really, really sweet. Um, treacle. It's chewy, chewy toffee apple. Um, raisins. It's a very, very pleasurable drink. <laughs> now, I would suspect that the Dutch would have this beer with their afters, with their dessert. Um, I think this is, probably goes well with a, with a dessert. Um, an apple pie or something like that. Um, their pancakes. Um, <coughs> apple pancakes. I reckon this goes, goes down a treat. I do like this, this jamminess, this stickiness. Um, as you see, look the way it laces the glass there. And you get that stickiness all round your teeth. Um, 
Yeah, it's a fa I wasn't expecting it to be like this. I'm pleasantly surprised, actually. Um, it, it brings a smile to me. It's, it's, it's a lovely beer. I like this. It's a, it's, like, it's a fantastic beer to have your dessert and no doubt there is loads and loads of Dutch people having their tea tonight and having a glass of this with their dessert I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever um, it's not a beer I'd probably <coughs> walk into a bar and have um, it would be it's like in a restaurant probably if they sold it to have it with dessert apart from Apart from that, it's a very, very good, well brewed beer. Um, the box style, you either love it or you hate it. Me personally, I like it. Um, it can be a bit of an acquired taste. So, see if you can get yourself out of a bottle and try it. Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new review. Um, subscribe to the channel because without you subscribers the channel's nothing and like I always say beer is the answer but I cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night <coughs> TT says never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly <laughs> <laughs>